19th of April. It's been around for 30 years, and we have focused on calling a specific company and a specific title within the company because we think that we can sell to just one individual in a large company, but that's not the case anymore. Decisions are made consensus-wise, and it's made, made by very large groups in a company. And that's why the whole world moved to account-based marketing. Account-based marketing has seen a tremendous growth over the last five years. 95% of all major corporations are looking at account-based marketing of the way forward in how they would like to engage with their customers. And that is Gartner, Forrest, or anyone that is telling us that's the way forward. If you look to the way they are still doing it, because the systems that support them actually are providing titles and companies in that order, that gives us a couple of real issues. The first is that you're very narrow on the title and you're very narrow and very broad on the company type. And that is the paradigm pretty much every one of our customers have been working on for a long time and it's not really the way forward. It gives you very high conversion price. It gives you very low conversion uh, rates. It gives you a very high cost of sales. You have seen armies of EDRs, SDRs in the companies in order to narrow the funnel down into a more precise, identified prospect. That is what ABM wanted to take care of, but they never succeeded because the ABM solutions out there are not able to target the audience precisely enough. That's why we developed Ocean. Let me give you two minutes on it. Ocean, traditional, if you go to LinkedIn, if you go to Zoom Info or anyone, they will categorize Zoom, Zoom as a company as an IT and services company. By the way, Bosch, a very big German uh, conglomerate making everything from dishwashers to you know uh, electronic systems for cars, Visa, pay, uh, transactional payment, and then Accenture, very large consulting company, are all identified as IT and services. We actually went the whole different way. We said, let's use NLP to take the entire body of how the company portray themselves and use very sophisticated technology to translate that into a mathematical representation. Then some of you think, oh, he's talking about keywords. No, I'm not. I'm talking about true NLP that takes the entire text body, converts it into a mathematical representation, and allows us to do clusters of very precise look-alike companies to the, specific, to the specific target we're looking at. That's exactly what this is representing. The companies on the right are exactly the, the look-alike companies or exact matches to Zoom. And if you do that way, you allow yourself to do very precise messaging. Very precise messaging because you're solving a class of problems specific for these companies and not for anything from a dishwasher to a consulting company. That is what we did, and we did it worldwide. We do entire Europe, we do North America, we do APAC, and we do it by translating every single landing page in a country, in German, Holland, all the Nordics, France, Spain, into a normalized translated version, and that allows you to target any company in those areas. And that is really unique. Our customers appreciate the way they can target any specific audience with the same focus anywhere in Europe, anywhere in North America, independently of any language barrier. If you look to it, what is it we do? We create very, very precise targeting audience through AI. Then we allow you, with that specific group of co companies, we allow you to build very, very personas-oriented target audience within each company. We 
we're not looking at titles, we're looking at personas. We understand the titles are far too narrow. It's a persona, you're targeting a group of individuals working in specific areas within the company and you're targeting them as a group because you want to address as many of them as possible and not just one with one title. And then we allow you to do very, very sophisticated AI sitting on integrated into your CRM system, allowing you to understand who you actually sold to, how long it, it take you to sell to them and cluster them together as an ideal customer profile and then match that out into the market space. That's really unique what we do. We took our hedge out of the B2C space and looked to B2B for the transactional data as behavioral data in order to understand which customers converts most optimal at the highest price point and the lowest cost of sale. And that is what we use as the target audience for you to go after. Obviously, we integrate into your existing tech stack. And uh, if we look to what we do, we basically start with helping you define the ICP. We move on to defining total accessible market within this IC those various ICPs in whatever market you want to do. And then we go into the personas. All of that is generated in a continuous uh, algorithm based on your continuous convers uh, conversions. This is not static. This is a live algorithm that sits integrated into your CRM system. And as your conversion improves or are going down in certain areas, the whole algorithm, algorithm is balancing the best performance you can achieve within a given uh, uh, accessible market. Then we hand it over to your messaging, and then we hand it over to your CRM system or your, uh, your uh, uh, account-based marketing system to execute it, and that's where we help as well. If you look to it, our customers tell a very, very, very clear message. It's worldwide enterprises from Sony to JLG. It's, they, they would like to access their end customers directly. They would like to bypass traditional distribution networks because they see that as a cost-bearing entity and they see that as a slowing effect. And especially on the COVID where they can't go to trade shows in any, in, in anywhere else, that's where they start to engage with a company like Ocean in order to allow us to engage them directly with their end customer. Thank you very much and uh, right on time. <laughs>